Hello guys, welcome to day two of our natural hair workshop that we are doing. Guys, I'm so excited. As usual, I just want to confirm that everything is working uh, fine, hair. which it is beautiful. So we are officially now in our day two um, of the five day free workshop. Um, and the goal for these workshop is simply to help each and every one of you develop a regimen so you can understand how to manage your hair to understand that your hair as well as God goes hand in hand so I'm excited about today um, so welcome for those who have been here with me from the beginning and those who have been continuing on on this journey I just want to congratulate you on sticking through because I know how important this is for you guys to learn about how to manage your natural hair and so um, these sessions are very um, different from um, how uh, these workshops are, are, are set up. So again, today this is um, the topic we're going to be focusing on is called tailoring products to your hair porosity session. Um, we will be focusing on hair porosity for the next five days and we're going to discover its impact on natural hair care routine. So we're gonna recap on day one. Um, we went over. We went over. Okay, turn it off. I will. I will turn it off. <laughs> okay. So day one is um, we talked about what is porosity. We also went over. Um, the three types that there is so we define porosity we went over the three different types there is which is low normal and high porosity and we also learned the three different ways to test we did the flow test the hair strength test and the water bottle test and um we also discussed how you are able to absorb the moisture because the whole purpose of porosity is to understand how to trap the moisturization in your hair. For some of you, when you did this hair test, you realize water is, un you're, you're having difficulty absorbing moisture into your natural hair or that you can get it quickly into your hair, but what happened is your hair dry out just as fast. And then we have our normal porosity um, which are a perfect balance really where the the moisturizations last a pretty decent amount of time so if you guys want to learn more about day one you can watch the replay on our group page which is called I am natural and it's gonna be in the featured section of the um, the featured tab um, and you're going to find it there or you can go to the guides tab and there you will find it under natural hair and God and all the videos organized into one section. And guys, you can play this as many times as you need to. You can replay it, pause it, do the test, come back. Now, if some of you already did the test, do me a favor. Go in the comment section right now. Tell me, what did you find out about your hair? Your hair? What did you learn? Did you have low porosity? Did you have high porosity? Did you have normal porosity? Just tell me what did you get in this process. Um, and from there, this information that we're gonna be talking about today is giving you the products that are essentially gonna be compatible for your specific porosity, okay? So I hope you took notes and we're gonna go um, now into today's um, session. I wanted to start out with a little joke. <laughs> um, I was looking at this online and this one just stood out to me and I just wanted to share with you guys. So here's what it this joke says. That the preacher's five-year-old daughter noticed that her preacher father always paused and bowed his head for a moment before starting his sermon. One day she asked him, well, honey, he began, proud that his daughter was so observant of his messages. I'm asking the Lord to help me to preach a good sermon. Well then, she said, how come he doesn't do it? E <laughs> yeah, when I heard that, I was like, mm, zip it up. Anyway, I thought this was should be cute for you guys. All right, so today, here's what we're going to need. We're going to need um, your free re um, workbook, free week book. Oh, gosh 
free workbook. And you can download this workbook here at this link at bit.ly forward slash GWG at worksheet um, two, okay? And when you go on there, you'll be able to um, see what the workbook looks like. Um, it has different sections. Um, one of the pages you're able to put in your porosity level as well. So download that workbook get it out and be able to um, see your progress and see your overall results from these three day um, workshop, um, five day workshop that we're doing, okay? This is just gonna help you to keep track of what you're doing and so that you understand what's happening with your hair. What did you get about your hair? And you can use this information as you shop around for our hair products whatever that you want to use it maybe to keep as reference anytime you're in a group page whatever it is this information will be very very helpful to you so definitely download the um your free workbook this is a link and you'll be able to write in it right away all right so now we are going to talk about what is your favorite hair care product tell me about it tell me something that you um really love like tell me in the comment section what is your one favorite hair product do you even have one are you just somebody who you know maybe go to the salon and they just pick it out for you but if you do your own hair and you have this product that you you kind of like oh my god without this product my hair wouldn't be able to do X, Y, and Z. I want you to put that in a comment section below and just share with me your go-to hair care products. And, um, and then tell me also what makes them special to you, okay? So just that added that, that little section there about your hair product. Well, for me, my favorite hair product is my conditioner and it's by Cantu. And I love conditioners. I just love conditioners. Either conditioner or aloe, whichever. Like if you guys are on my group page, you'll see that I've done aloe treatments with my hair. And you guys see my transformation from going to dull, dry, old hair to bouncy, curly hair after just applying only, and I mean that, only aloe to my hair. And I get the same kind of effect when I do conditioner because what it does, it pops my curls out, you know? Like, I love when I can see the definition of my curls and I just love to play it with my fingers. I just love to feel the texture in my hands because it goes from super uber dry to supple, guys. And that's just something that just get me going each and every time. All right, so today I wanted to get into the ingredients that you guys want to start thinking about your products. When you're thinking about the products, what you're looking for are what is red, what is being read on the back of your products. And this is just a few information that I think is going to be important as you start to find the products that work or doesn't work for you. Now, when it comes to even how God sees us, God does not want us want us to harm ourselves, nor does he want to harm us either, okay? And why I say that is because oftentimes we're using things that are unknowingly, and even some of us knowingly know that these things are causing some type of harm to your body. And one of my philosophy or model that I have adopted to my lifestyle is that if it harms me, then it is not for me, okay? And I want you to, to adapt this kind of lifestyle for yourself. If it harms you, it shouldn't be for you. If there is way too many compromising effects of these, of a, a, a decision that you're making for yourself, I highly suggest you, t you go, you turn to the opposite direction. Because maybe right now is not really causing that much effect, but down the line, we don't know the ripple effect that it that starts to happen. Just like when you plant seeds, right? You don't know what you're getting back. Sometimes you know exactly what seed that you planted, but guess what? 
when everything comes up it can even come up with roots because there are things that got planted with it as well so it's the same thing when that root come up it starts to destroy your crops and sometimes you can't even pull them out together you just kind of want to let, let them live together because you got so far into the process without knowing that that was planted that 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 weed was also planted with the good uh, um seed so when we know better it is imperative that we just do better okay and i'm learning that now because so much has changed in my lifestyle so after doing much research to understand some of the top ingredients that are very harmful to our bodies this was just a few uh, a cup a few of them that i gathered together um to uh, uh to formulate for you guys to just get an idea of some of the ingredients that you want to pay close attention when you're reading the back of a select product for your hair so um maybe i can zoom in here you guys can see it might be a little bit blurry as we're looking at it but as you take a look you can see how um ammonium laurel sulfate benheno alcohol cetyl alcohol chlorine dea like there's just so many and the list continues okay these are just product that i'm like that basically says it may cause birth defects um hormone imbalance it can cause cancer um just many different um harmful disease as uh, 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 that that somehow come upon our body so we want to be very very careful with what we are introducing to our body now if you just put use that product only one time in your hair it doesn't necessarily mean that okay now it's the end of the world for you no 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 but it is after a long period of time of overexposure to this ingredients that's eventually gonna cause harm now we can do a simple math here and start to see like just with one product if I'm using a conditioner and that conditioner let's just say I'm washing my hair every week and for you guys, I don't know about you, but with my conditioner, because of the thickness of my hair and because of the length of my hair, at one point it was very long, I used a lot of conditioner. So maybe with one washing session, I can use anywhere from a quarter of that conditioner to just about half of that bottle of an eight ounce bottle, okay? So you wanna pay a very close attention to that because if I'm using about four ounces of conditioner, which is a lot, okay? This is the full size um, conditioner bottles that you will find in the stores. And I would use about half that bottle. Imagine if I'm using that either every week that is about four times a month, which multiplies to 48 times a year. So in that amount of time, if I have one toxic ingredient, you can see how often I am introducing just that chemical into my hair. But guys, pay attention, it's not just one harmful chemical that are usually in these products, right? It's usually multiple ingredients linked to cancerous, um, um, chemicals okay and we want to be mindful about what some of them look like now this list i have before you is not like a list that is all tense for example you know formaldehyde on a range of one to ten one being least toxic and ten being the most harmful it will range very close to 10 okay these are products these are ingredients that has been found in our hair care products these were pro uh, um, ingredients that have been pulled from different countries because of how harmful they were formaldehyde is what i'm referring to and we even have found that they were in carpet for people who had carpets back in the days and they had to inhale the fumes that was coming from this carpet or their upholstery all these things were carrying this particular chemical which was very very harmful and it was causing cancer to many people who were exposed to them for a long period of time so we imagine they already knew that and then then they took that product and then they put it into our hair care product which doesn't make sense 
Because even with the things that we're putting onto our skin, there is what we call the process of absorption. It gets absorbed, not only into your hair, but into your body. It's going to cause a systemic effect, meaning a generalized internal effect. So whether you can see it or not, just try to keep this image in mind that it's probably doing something that I have no idea about. And it's not until five, 10, 15 years from now that we're noticing a massive growth or something, God forbid, that you have now learned that it's linked to some of the stuff that you were using for a long period of time. All right. So now we're just enlightening you to be very well educated about the products that you're using for your hair. There is an app called Dirty, Dirty, Think Dirty app. Okay, it's the thinkdirty.org, I believe. You can go into that website and basically type in the ingredient that you may have a question about, and they're gonna tell you where does it range, how toxic it is, or you know how um, healthy it is to your body. So if you're unsure, definitely do that. But this list right here that I'm sharing with you is just one personal list that I went around and gathered a bunch of information, collected it, and the list unfortunately is growing and growing and growing because what they're later late i'm um, finding out is the longer you've been using these products the more they're doing research to see what has it done to the human body and now things that we probably are thinking is okay to use today probably in five ten years from now we're realizing up oh, is being added to this list here called ingredients to avoid so guys let's just make the first step I just like pure organic things as much as possible. Now, in this world, it's very impossible to find the perfect hair care product unless you're doing your own DIY product, then by all means, you will know what you're putting in it and what you shouldn't put in it. But majority of the time, some of us, when it comes to budget, when it comes to time, we're just gonna have to settle with the next best option okay so we are going to get into that a little bit so the first thing you want to do grab one of your favorite um, products take a look in the back of it and start to check mark what ingredients that are on this list here that are found in your hair care product the f the products that the ingredients that you need to really focus on are the first five ingredients that are listed at the back of your hair products if you see this picture over here you see there's ingredients listed for probably like a you know, uh, food product, right? And it's just, let's just imagine it is a hair care product and it probably would say ammonium lauryl sulfate, chlorine, water, whatever it is, you wanna pay attention to that. Now the first five are to me the most important ones. If you find that the first five products, okay, pay attention to this, includes any of these, meaning you have at least five like it's it's in the beginning of the product i would just say i don't think it's wise to use that product here's why i say that when the way products are created is that the very first ingredient that is listed has um yeah, the very first ingredient listed is the is what makes up the majority of that product. For example, if you see that the first ingredient in your in the back of your product says water, okay? Let's just imagine 90% of that product is made up of water. And the further down they are from the first ingredient the the more that you add so like let's imagine the last ingredient will be like the 15th ingredient in that product it would mean that that's the least amount of product that is that's the least amount of ingredient that's in that product i hope i'm making sense so let's just let's just imagine we have five ingredients in total in the back of our hair care products we have water aloe um and two others and the last one is argan oil so the first one says water so basically 90 percent of that product is made up of water and i'm just giving a random number um it's not necessarily 90 percent, but it's saying a majority of that product contains that and the last ingredient on their aloe will not have as much it's probably one percent i mean the last ingredient i stated was argan yes argan oil 
and because it is last on the list is probably make up one percent of the product does that make sense all right so i hope i'm helping you to understand how to first stay away from products make an informed decision about the products that you want to keep away from that's the first thing you want to learn how to do you want to start to say okay like these five ingredients right here it seems all five of them are listed as you know ranging between five and ten as being toxic to the hair toxic to the human body so if you see that that is just you know maybe you just cannot read the ingredients and then sis just stay away from it altogether what i would suggest also when you see a name um here's a quick tip for you guys if you see an, a long chemical name and you don't see a simpler name in parentheses for example you'll see like arganis uh a, a, a beacus or something like that and then in parentheses it would say argan oil and i apologize that might not be the name but just imagine i'm sure you guys have done it before when you read an ingredient you're like what is that saying it's first of all it's like you know many syllables long and then on top of that uh you don't understand what it means when you see it, the parentheses, that's usually say, here's what it is. Sometimes it will say coconut oil or it will say shea butter, okay? So they just gave you the chemical name for the, that simple product. If it's something that you recognize and you know what it is, vitamin E, whatever, and is next to a chemical name in parentheses, then by all means, that is a product or an ingredient that you recognize okay if you cannot recognize the meaning they gave you a long chemical name and even when you looked it up it had it couldn't tell you what it what what it is and you all them pro all them ingredients on there especially the first five are listed as such that will be my telltale sign that i don't want to use that product okay you want to use the product that starts out with things that you're aware of for our hair type you want to find hair care products that starts with water or anything like water like um um uh coke uh aloe um coconut water whatever like you will recognize that it is hydrating all of our hair needs to be hydrated okay when it starts with alcohol alcohol usually dries out our hair now some alcohol are very well mixed to help not dry out the hair but if you find that that is the very very first ingredient listed then sis just be mindful do a patch test see how your hair is doing with it because um, you don't want to buy something that is just simply not going to be helpful to you all right we went into a lot about this now here are some suitable ingredients that you need to use now that we know what not to use here are some to use if you find out that you have low porosity go ahead put that in the comment section i'm low porosity and here's what you can use you can use lightweight oils such as argan oil jojoba oil grapeseed um, because they're not gonna um weigh your hair down okay um our hair shaft is already closed remember that and when you wear something very heavy on your hair it keeps it closed okay we don't want that we want something that is lightweight so when we open our hair shaft it just gets absorbed into the hair i hope that makes sense for you guys you can use humectics um aloe vera gel and some protein treatments to strengthen the hair and improve the porosity okay so here's a chart for you like if you want healthy hair you want to moisturize every day you want to wear satin head ties at night um and then you want to deep condition so uh so the first section is what you're going to do daily the next section here is what you're going to do on a monthly basis and here um i mean on a weekly basis and this is what you're going to do on a monthly basis so here you're going to condition your hair at least once a week and you're going to wear protective hairstyles we're going to talk a little bit more about protective hairstyles but it's something like twists um anything to tuck your hair away where your hair is not just out freely um being exposed to the air so that it doesn't dry out too quickly when you use twists and any other type of 
protective hairstyles, even braids that you install into your hair. These protect the hair from the elements of the air and it actually traps the moisture into your hair for a longer period of time. And then lastly, for you, you're gonna deep condition uh, on a monthly basis as well, a deep condition. One is conditioning, which is like five minute process. You put the conditioner in and then you rinse it out. A deep conditioning, process is usually from 30 minutes and sometimes up to 24 hours which i've have done personally and you want to wear a protective hairstyle protective hairstyles can last up to a month i don't like to leave it that long two weeks is usually best for me you want to use clarifying shampoo as well one to two times a month that just helps to um, get rid of all the product buildup and try to trim your hair like every six months as well or as needed just to stimulate hair growth and to get all the dead ends out but it is it's optional for you okay um, for those who have normal porosity the ingredients you want to take notice too is hydrating oils like coconut oil olive oil so if you see a product with these kind of names they're very helpful for you um, and they provide a lot of nourishment moisture and nourishment um, and you want to use moisturizing butters okay such as shea butter mango butter those are great for hydration and to seal your hair and anything water-based is helpful to your hair okay you want to do your regimen as well on a daily basis you want to moisturize your hair um, especially when it is dry because um, you have a normal balance so you just want to wait till it's just kind of feeling a little bit on the drier side and you want to moisturize it you want to wear your satin head ties every night condition once a week um, and wear your protective styles you know and deep condition just like um, with no, um, low porosity deep condition about a, um, once a month and continue to wear your protective styles and use clarifying shampoo one to two times a month um, and trim as well every six months or as needed to just keep the hair um, well managed. And lastly, for our high porosity sisters, put your, put your name down below, like I got high porosity, suitable ingredients for you, rich in heavier oils like castor oil and avocado. This is gonna help to seal that moisture in. Our high porosity sisters, what happened is your um, hair cuticles are widely open. If you remember from day one, it is widely open. So you need something to help keep that thing shut. So heavy creams are going to be ideal for you. You want a deep, um, deep conditioning treatments with like protein to help restore the strength of your hair. Um, products with emollients like cocoa butter and linolin to provide like intense moisture and reduce your porosity. Uh, just remember, these are general recommendations, so it's important to consider your hair preference and sensitivities when you choose the product. And it's always best to perform patch tests and observe how your hair responds to specific ingredients. So this is for all of you guys, no matter which ingredient that you're picking up or product that you're picking up, just make sure that you are having um, no reaction and that is it's compatible with you. For my high porosity sisters, here's some regimen you can use. You can spritz areas, spritz dry area with water. You can use leave-in conditioner or conditioning milk or cream. And definitely wear satin head tie at night. If you guys are like, why am I wearing satin head tie at night? What satin head tie does is it, it seals the moisture in, meaning it does not soak up. Like if you had a towel in your hair or if you had maybe polyester, um, a, 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 a a cloth that is absorbing moisture you want something that repels it and traps it into your hair and satin is usually the best um i the ideal hair fabric to use on your head you could get a satin pillow you could even get sat, satin um, head ties as well and you want to detangle your hair gently this is what you're going to do on, the, on a daily basis on a weekly basis condition or use hair masks once a week um, that are protein rich um, and wear protective styles like twists and do your LOC method which is the sealing method which is leave-in oil and then cream and lastly on a monthly basis you can deep condition your hair once a month wear protective styles use clarifying shampoo just basically get rid of the product buildup and trim your hair like every six months if needed um, or as needed 
All right, guys. So I'm excited. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Um, any concerns you may have about product selection or customization, please don't hesitate to ask me. And I'll provide guidance and recommendations to address your inquiries, okay? And lastly, we are going to read this verse here. This verse um, in 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19 to 20. All right, we know that we, this workshop is called the Natural Hair and God um, Workshop Series. And I have been led to, to speak about how God sees our hair and why it's important that we introduce him, not introduce him, but allow him to be a part of our journey. Everywhere in the Bible, there are scriptures that help support how we should manage and care for our overall self okay and this scripture was stood out the best to me today and it says do you not know that your bodies are temples of the holy spirit who is in you whom you have received from god you're not your own you were bought at a price therefore honor god with your bodies so this verse reminds us to treat our bodies including our hair as sacred vessels selecting suitable hair care products and routines that simply promote health and well-being and it honors God and well-being and it honors God as well because we were gifted these physical bodies that we have so this verse is just helping us to understand that our bodies is not our own you cannot number the amount of hair that is on your head and yet god is the only one that says that he can and i feel that when we understand that we were given something as stewarding right not to alter it but to manage it to care for it there's something beautiful that starts to happen because you recognize, first of all, that you are giving something precious, just like if you're tilling a garden, just like you are giving a child. No matter what it is, the best and most practical way of caring for something is keeping it in its an original form but exposing the most beautiful thing that it can do. What is the potential of your hair? You probably have no idea what your hair can do. But I promise you throughout this journey, little by little, as you start to step into who God created you to be, your hair will start to um, thank you back by revealing to you what it can actually do. And guys, I just wanted to leave this simple prayer with you. Um, you can screenshot this prayer here and just keep it um, as, uh, you know, as a template for you to use as a guidance when you want to pray about your hair hair care products you know feel free to screenshot it and um, alter it and use it or use it as is it's up to you but when you pray please speak to your father as if he was standing right in front of you because guys he is all over he's om om omnipotent <laughs> Meaning he's everywhere at once and all there with you at once as well. And only God can do that. And so he's been with you. You're just acknowledging him now. So when you're praying, just imagine that he's standing in front of you because he is. And how much he's telling you he loves you so much. And he's so proud of you for taking this step. So pray from that heart. Now I want to pray for you. Father, I just want to say thank you for my sister that is here today. Thank you for all that you've been showing her. Thank you for the things that you're stripping away from her that does not belong to her. The things that are harming to her body, Lord Father God. Give her the wisdom and the understanding to take care and manage her hair, Lord Father. We thank you for this session that you have been creating to teach us everything that we need to know about our hair. Using biblical scriptures to help support what we are doing or really vice versa we know that when we have walked away from the way that you intended things to be we walked into the destruction of our own selves so now that our many of our eyes are open 
and many of our eyes are getting open and many of us still are lingering lord father we ask that you invite us to understand what it means to love the everything that we are as we were created thank you for your love your endless love your endless support thank you for your patience as you stand by and watch us do the destruction and wait for us to even come back lord you're a good father because we know that you've been calling out to us to do better and so our opportunity for such a time as this has come and we are before you and asking you to help us at every single stage of our journey we thank you we love you we magnify your holy name in jesus name we pray amen and amen guys thank you so much for being a part of this day two session now if you want a more personalized experience with me you can actually book a free 30 minute hair consultation with me and the way you're going to do that is go to this link here bit.ly forward slash book with gladia and schedule um a session where you're going to get a more deeper understanding about your hair um, I'm going to personally identify all your natural hair struggles, and then we're going to lay out the steps you will need to get you from where you are at, currently at, to where you truly want to be, okay? So join the call so we can analyze your biggest hair struggles. Listen, don't, don't delay on this. Get the call in. It's free, guys. It's free. And see if you're a good fit um, for my program. Until then... Thank you, thank you for taking time to join this training about natural hearing and God. And I pray that I will see you tomorrow on our day three session as we continue with the topic, hair porosity. I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Until then, have a blessed one. Bye.